Hi, I'm Neerja Singh. I bring you 30 insights into the art of surviving, thriving through and not dying of a generation gap. And these are for all boomers, right through to all Zoomers. Insight 30. It is an unprecedented time in the history of human sexuality all over the world there has been a dramatic pushback in the age when people first marry and reproduce the age of puberty has dropped meanwhile we are now in an era in which young adults are physiologically able to reproduce but not psychologically or socially ready to settle down and begin a family these developmental shifts research suggests are some of the factors driving the increase in what are called sexual hookups or uncommitted sexual encounters it is a part of a popular cultural change that has infiltrated the lives of emerging adults in many parts of the world the millennial generation in india that generation too is often spoken of in terms of being commitment phobic what it means is that many young people today would rather have a fun time than invest themselves in supposedly serious relationships this idea is fed by the existence and popularity of dating apps like tinder bumble and hinge there are several others you could meet someone on a dating app today in a bar or simply through a setup this may evolve in several directions but essentially it consists of two people engaging in a casual relationship with no strings attached it gives rise to the idea that one is free to indulge in sexual semi-sexual and emotional activity with multiple people at the same time without having to owe their loyalties to anyone the status of your equation stays ambiguous are you boyfriend and girlfriend or are you just friends with many benefits or or is it just complicated back in my days it used to be called having an affair and if you were seeing someone or meeting them on a fairly regular basis it meant you would marry them today you could be forgiven for hesitating to call it even a relationship whether the reason is a bad past experience or a lack of time and effort or enlightened feminism or peer pressure or a desire to escape some other uncomfortable emotions the hookup culture is here it could involve friends strangers acquaintances and even co-workers and no it is certainly not the monopoly of delhi and mumbai india is going through a major social revolution that is shaking the foundations of society and will change many many things in the days to come the emancipation of women the breakup of the family as the central economic unit the redefining of sexual mores the shift from arranged marriage to love marriage is all happening at the very same time says Ira Trivedi in her seminal book India in Love there is a bizarre situation in which arranged marriage is expected but there is also the big apple style dating culture happening alongside we are entering uncharted territory where a lot is being redefined it is a state of molten confusion despite their increasing social acceptability however developing research suggests that sexual hookups may leave more strings attached than many participants might first 
assume in terms of science ox oxytocin oxytocin or the love hormone is released during sexual encounters which promotes bonding trust empathy relaxation it's the same hormone that is released during pregnancy to strengthen the mother child bond the biological mechanism of oxytocin promotes monogamy which runs parallel to the idea of casual sex this perhaps perhaps explains that the feeling of emptiness uneasiness and dilemma after hooking up is not about getting over it but it's a biological response of the body after the act justin garcia along with a team from the state university of new york did research and concluded how dna plays a key role in determining sexual behaviors she says a gene called ddr4 spikes the flow of dopamine in our body which enhances our feel good sensations and tricks us into believing how hooking up is the ultimate solution to being a cooler and a liberal individual little realizing how addictive and self sabotaging it can be what and who are the young people losing to the new sexual freedom what and who are they hiding exaggerating or adjusting for what will the relationship map of india look like a decade from now is this upheaval temporary are we ever going back to the india of our past the senior is ready ready to listen book me to speak on the turbulent trends facing generations and watch out for my forthcoming book on 30 insights into the never before aspects of generation gap